Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. This is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about college, self-care, healthy lifestyle, being a wife, all of the above. So if you like those things, make sure to subscribe. But today we're going to do how to prepare for a new college semester because I'm a senior in college now and I love the beginning of a new semester where you can start fresh and get some good habits in, good study habits in, and it's just my favorite time. So let's get prepared for the busyness, and without further ado, let's just jump right on in to this video. The first thing that I like to do is to create new routines for the new semester. So this can include when you're gonna work, exercise, study, hang out with friends, spend time alone, all of those things just kind of figuring out when you can have time for those things. Since I have to drive to campus every day, I already created a new morning routine for myself and I wanted to make sure that this routine had time for Jesus, time to exercise, eat breakfast, get ready. I like to shower in the morning so I needed that and to take care of my plants. So I needed to make sure that I had all of those things in my morning routine based off of when I have to leave for school. So I did that and I created it. I'll show you a little picture here somewhere, you'll see it. But I just like creating these routines so that I'm not like rushing on the first week of school, being late to things because I don't have my routine down. But if I have it up here because I wrote it down on my notes app, then it'll be easier to implement on the actual first week of school. I don't know what I'm gonna do for homework and studying yet, but I will let you know probably on Instagram closer to syllabus week. So follow me on Instagram and then you'll be able to see that part. Number two is to clean out and restock your backpack for the new semester or bag, whatever you wanna use. Clean out all of the junk from the last semester. My backpack right here has a ton of junk in it. So I need to go through that, clean it out, and I like to restock it with things that are just like personal care things, and I have school supplies, obviously. Especially since I'm gonna be on campus every day, this is not normal for me. Normally, I only drive to school two or three times a week, but if I'm gonna be there every day, I need to be prepared. So what I like to have in my backpack are travel perfumes, travel deodorants, all of those travel things bobby pins, a hair band, hair tie. I also have like a hair brush that has a top over it so that the bristles don't get jumbled up in your backpack. And I have blue light glasses, of course, you need those. And period supplies, obviously, you, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you wanted to make sure that your backpack was stocked with those things, there's some ideas for you. Number three is to order your textbooks. So I normally wait till syllabus week to order my textbooks because at least at my school, professors put books on the list that are not actually needed and I don't wanna waste my money getting books that I don't need. So that's why I normally wait, but this semester I actually already had a professor email me and ask me to order my textbooks now. So I ordered that one. We'll see if I need to order any of the other ones early, but that's normally my method. I do recommend if you're ordering your textbooks online to check your campus bookstore, but also check Amazon and other websites to see if they're cheaper because textbooks are expensive, so you need the cheapest option possible. So that's normally what I do because I pay for my textbooks out of pocket. If that's also your method, that's what I suggest to check other websites too. Number four is to declutter your spaces. So that could be your room, your apartment or dorm, your car, laptop, iPad, whatever you need to declutter to start off the semester fresh, I recommend doing so. What I'm going to be decluttering is my laptop for sure. There's so much stuff on there. I need to get my hard drive fixed too because I need papers to go on there. So all technology things. I need to clean out my car, get a car wash, clean out the trunk, all those things. And I need to clean this office. You can't see the messy parts right now, but 
this office really needs to be decluttered. So that's what I'm going to be decluttering and it will make me feel so much better and my mind will be clearer if those things are taken care of. <laughs> Lastly, number five is to rest, which you wouldn't think is important, but it actually is. Do intentional things that actually help you to rest and to recharge for a new semester. One habit I'm trying to implement when I'm talking about rest is I'm trying to read a chapter before I go to bed just because it'll help me sleep better. It's better for my brain and my eyes if I'm not on my phone before I go to bed. Another thing, and I've preached this so much on my YouTube channel, is keeping my weekly rest day. My rest day is gonna be Saturday this semester and it is so important because we were not meant to be productive 24 seven. So you need to have a rest day. That's why I have one complete day where I don't do anything. Another thing that I'm trying to do is to unplug from work, school, any of those things at a certain time of night so that I can actually have a relaxed time. This one is so hard for me because I have unrealistic expectations of how much I can accomplish in a day. So I just cram as many things as I can. My to-do list is a mile long and then I don't complete it because it's already midnight and I haven't finished everything. So be more realistic with yourself and unplug at a certain time of night so that you're brain can relax and refresh for the next day. Those are my tips for you. If you have any tips, if you're in college, please comment them down below and be a part of this conversation. And that is gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up Subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye, guys.